welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cammie, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today's video, I'm going to do a bikini haul. So if you don't already know, I do content creation on Instagram, and my niche is kind of like beach themed, Florida themed, because I live in Florida. Um, so I have a ton of bikinis. So the reason I'm doing this video right now is because I need to clean out my bikinis and I feel like this would be the perfect time just to go through and see which ones I like and which ones I don't and which fit me and which don't fit me. So let's begin. It's definitely overflowing right now and I just dropped a bunch as I brought it over here. So I guess what we are going to do is start off and go by brand. Okay, so I basically just went ahead and made piles all over my bed and around my room of all the different like brands of bikinis I have. So we're gonna start with the brand I have the most bikinis of, and that is Dippin' Daisies, which is my pile right here. Sorry, my cat is right there. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. This is probably gonna be my this will be my longest video. I have a ton of bikinis and I want to get them all in. So let's just start. I will be posting pictures of each bikini um, if I have them on me, which I most likely do because I take pictures all the time in my bikinis. First up, we have this little orange design um, from Dippin' Daisies. It's a one shoulder bikini top and ties in the back. The matching bottoms are more on the conservative side. I'd say they're like medium coverage, like that, and they are very cute. I love Dippin' Daisy's quality of their bikinis. So this design is like a little swirly pattern, and it has like light orange and dark orange. Here is the picture of me wearing it. Okay, so the next Dippin' Daisy's bikini we have is, is this off-white kind of looking tie bottom there we go with the metal um hoops on the side um i do believe it was a little whiter when i got it but it what is normally an off-white color but i think when i washed it it got a little bit darker but it's still an off-white color these are also a medium i'd say medium coverage bottoms the top is super cute. It's probably one of my favorite styles that um, Dippin' Daisies has right now. So this is what the top looks like. It's an underwire bikini. <laughs> um, and it's also like a different material. And this bikini is padded, by the way. But you can take out the pads if you want to. Which I love to do. I, I feel like I always take out pads. For my bikinis I just don't think the pads are comfortable next bikini we have from dip and daisy is this high-waisted blue um, bottoms and it is pretty medium coverage in the back and the top is super cute the top is padded as you can see but I'm taking them out right now because they got all wrinkled in the wash but I don't like pads anyways so it's fine. The top is just this really cute little scrunchy looking top and it has adjustable straps which is always good to have in a bikini. The next bikini we have is like a purple floral bikini and these are the bottoms. They have super cute detailing on the sides here with like little strings that can tie and then little um, flower detailing at the bottom. These are again mid coverage I'd say. And then the top is this super cute triangle with like a little knot in the middle top and adjustable straps once again. This bikini top is padded and but it does have the option to come out if you would like it to. And yeah, here is the design. If you can't see okay so the next dip and daisies bikini is this neutral color I think this is how it goes but I'm not sure because I wore it wrong in the picture okay so this is the next dip and daisies top bikini um, this is like a textured 
um, feeling to it, if you can see that. I'm not sure if it's focusing. I know for a fact I wore this bikini wrong in the picture I took and posted for them, but I was changing on the beach, so I just, I had no idea how it went, and I didn't have the time or patience to change it. So I'm pretty sure it goes something like this, where it, like, knots up here in the middle. I... I have no idea how this went, but I'll show you guys the picture of how I wore it. And then Ari's also wearing the same bikini, but she's wearing it the right way. So, and then the bottoms, again, I think this is like their classic style bottom where it's um, like medium coverage in the back. The next Dip and Daisies bikini we have is this yellow one, and this is the same style as like the purple one I showed you earlier, but this one is just obviously plain yellow, so it has the adju adjustable straps, it has the pads in there that you can take out, and then the bottoms are the same as the blue ones I showed you guys earlier, just the high-waisted um, mid-coverage. Honestly, this might be like considered full coverage, but yeah. Next up, we have, this is probably my favorite Dip and Daisy's bikini, I just love the style of it. So here are the bottoms. It's like a green, orange, pink, blue floral design. And then the sides have the little like scrunch detail that Kulani Kinis has, which I love. These, again, I'd say mid to full coverage on the back. Top is like a very cute styled triangle top. So as you can see, the front... Why does it keep focusing on my face? <laughs> okay, as you can see, the front is like a, tri a normal triangle style bikini, but the straps are a bit thicker, and it just like ties... Your arms go through these two holes, and it just ties in the back like that. And these are also padded. The next Dip and Daisies bikini I have is like this marbled blue and pink top, triangle looking top, kind of like the style I just showed you, um, where you put your arms to the sides and then it can tie or hook in the back. This is also a padded top and has the adjustable straps. It also has gold detailing on in the middle and then also on the straps. The bottoms are Thai bottoms that look like this. They have the same gold detailing that was on the top there on the sides and you can just tie them to your liking and this is a mid-coverage bikini bottom. Okay, we're getting close to the end of Dip and Daisies. The next bikini is one I recently wore for them and it's in their Valentine's Day drop. But it is this a super cute and different one shouldered top with like little ruffles on the side. This is padded. And then the bottoms are high waisted with the ruffles on the side. And this is also like a textured bikini. Looks like that. Super cute, mid coverage back. And then it also has a little skirt that goes with it. I did not wear the skirt in the picture, but I feel like one day I will wear it. The next bikini top, bikini we have from Dip and Daisies is this tube top, this tie-dye tube top with scrunching detail right there on the sides. And I believe this one came with pads and I took them out. The bottoms are, again, those high-waisted um, bottoms that were like the yellow and the blue ones, but this is obviously the tie-dyed version of them. Okay, so the next one is another one of the one-shouldered bikinis that ties in the back. This is a zebra print. I believe they came out with this last summer. Um, super cute. And then the bottoms are definitely more on the skimpier side so we have the bottoms there and then the back is definitely a thong back so if you're not into thong styled bikinis I would say don't get this these are called the seaport bottoms by the way 
And that was the last one for different daisies. Now let's move on to pepper mayo. First pepper mayo bikini we have is like this hot pink top where it, it's kind of hard to show on camera, but um, this is what it looks like. And then it ties around your neck here and the back is just a basic hook. And yeah, and this one is padded, but you can take the padding out. The bottoms, this is probably like my favorite style of bottoms. I feel like uh, you guys see that in my Instagram photos. I usually try to pick this style of bottoms, but um, this is what it looks like. It's definitely more on the cheekier side, um, but it's, yeah, it's just like a basic styled bottom, and it's just like a one string side, which I love. The next pepper mayo one we have is this very colorful high-waisted um, bikini. So these are the bottoms, definitely on the cheekier side, but um, still like mid coverage. And the top is one of the underwire style tops. So this is the top. Pattern is very like different. It's kind of hard to tell what it is. It kind of looks floral to me. Um, like island vibes. I don't know. That's just kind of what I get from it. Next pepper mayo bikini we have is this brown and orange striped triangle top. And this again is one of the styles where you just put your arms through the sides and you just tie it in the back. This top I would probably size up on, so I did size up on it. <laughs> okay, so I got a US 8. Usually a US 6, but I got a US 8 in this. And I think I do that with all the Pepper Mayo's bikinis because they do run a little small. Um, and then the bottoms are again the my favorite style. Just like the one string side, pretty cheeky in the back. Okay, the next one is probably my favorite favorite pepper mayo bikini. I just love how it looks on. It's super flattering and super just like elegant. So we have the underwire top. It's like this emerald green color and then it ties in like a little pretty bow in the back. Then the bottoms are just basic tie tie bottoms which are probably like my second favorite type of bottoms because I just love how you can adjust it however you want. Okay, so next is another triangle top bikini, and I think this is the one where I realized they run small. So here is the top. This is a US 6. I started to get the US 8 after wearing this because, as you can see, it is a bit tiny on the top for coverage. Um, but again, triangle top. Put your arms through the sides and then tie in the back and these are adjustable straps. The bottoms for this are more on the cheeky side. So they are just like a basic cut bottoms. You can wear them higher on your waist or just normal. I like higher better but this is the back so it's definitely more of a more scandalous type of bikini bottom. And then that one also has a little matching skirt that goes with it. It's super cute. I love the skirt. And on to the last Pepper Mayo bikini. We have just a basic black one because you always need a basic black bikini. Um, so these are like a classic style mid coverage on the back. And then the top is, here is what the top looks like. It has like a little ring hoop in the middle and then it ties on the top and then around the back. 